Hello everybody, welcome. I'm just here, you just caught me, I'm upstairs here and I am in the process of trying to figure out <laughs> how to turn this lamp base into a lamp or how to how to uh, put it together as a lamp and I've bought I bought some of these um, kits that you can buy you can buy them over the internet and they are, they are available at some stores you can buy them for about six dollars these ones that's a complete kit with the wire and the, the little unit on the top that takes the, the bulb uh, etc plus some adjustable sleeves that go inside the neck of the bottle your table lamp bottle um, depending on the size that you've made the hole you've got a choice there so I thought I'd just bring you in on this it's you can just see what I'm doing it's a bit of fun let's see let's just move the camera down there like that Come on, and we're gonna need of course a shade which I've also got here so let's just have a look and see what we got let me just change the focus here on this camera like that so I've got, got this shade, you see, it's cost me about nine dollars. So this is the, this is the one that you saw me glaze and then you saw me brush, well you didn't actually see me do, do the, the brushing of the, the copper carbonate onto this one, but you did actually see me decorate it and this is how it's come out. I don't know if you remember but part of this bottle was hard on one on one side and that's just this place here. It's slightly harder, it hasn't taken so much glaze at that point. Um, a bit of surface reduction has occurred here at the top slightly slightly hiding, masquerading, masking the 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 decoration there but this is looks rather nice i thought it looks slightly like a sand of a beach or something um, quite nice uh, to work with copper carbonate i quite like it so there it is of course the clay is is blackened somebody asked me um, one, somebody asked me a question about about that, and um, I can't remember who it was, but it was recent. Uh, but somebody else actually answered the question for me, which I'm always grateful for. If somebody else knows the answer, because some of the questions that people ask, I'm sure lots of you know the answers to, not just me. So <laughs> please chip in and and um, contribute, and uh, if you know what the answer is, then. Please answer. I, I, I certainly appreciate that. Anyway, of course, the blackness here of the, is the is the clay where there is no glaze on the clay, and it is simply carbonized, as it were, by the, the burning of the the material that you you are using in in the bins to do the uh, the reduction. So anyway, what have we got here? We've got. Oh, wait a minute! I'm going to need a screwdriver, aren't I? going to be fun. Oh, let's have a look, see if I've got something on here. Ay, ay, ay. I need a little screwdriver. Um, I need a small fire. So that's a small one. So what we have to do now these these kind of lamp fixtures can either take the the cable like that through through the through the fitment, okay, like that. In which case, if you do that, then you need to put a hole in the bottom of the lamp base. 
which incidentally I actually prefer that with them with a hole in the book so you don't actually see the cable you know it's threaded right the way through and then out so this bit here is hidden inside the inside the lamp I think that's the nicest way of of doing them I I didn't really look carefully enough at this and when I saw it I didn't realize that that was hollow and I thought it had to come there like that so I didn't put a hole in these actually um, so in this case I'm going to have to do this short of getting a drill out and drilling a hole in the bottom which I'm not about to do um, let's see so the next thing is this bit just pulls out of there you see and then what we have to do is just bend these around and do up the do up the screw there. Like that. And one on the other side here. Somebody was complaining the other day that I wasn't doing enough videos about throwing. And um, too much glazing and all this sort of stuff and, <laughs> and they ended up the comment saying something and to be honest they're not all that interesting and I thought oh dear oh well but as it happened some people did chip in and say hey <laughs> don't talk nonsense totally it's very difficult to please everybody isn't it doing, doing video clips and things so now, this little number has got to go in there like that, and then this, it's got to go like that, voila. Now, now the interesting bit is what we have to do is you see you're going to get now this was the one if you remember that where well, you see the glaze slightly missed there but it doesn't actually matter in the kit you'll get three of these so we'll see which one fits they don't fit this one looks like it is going to fit aha wait a minute we have to you also get one of these and that's going to go over there like that. So, um, let's have a look. Basically, you've got to screw this this thing into the into there. So, I'm going to put that there in the mouth of the. the top of the of the lamp like that because when what's going to happen is when you when you screw this in here it's going to cause it's going to cause that to expand outwards against the, and that's what's going to cause it to to grip the next thing is we're going to put that over there like that give it a little lick it'll make it screw in easier and then what we're going to do is I think it's easier to hold hold the business here and then and just turn the lamp like that. Oh, that hasn't worked, has it? It's come out. This is a little bit of a, uh, a fiddle, you know. You have to sort of. Um, I don't think I had it quite actually pushed down enough. In fact, the last one of these I did, um, I couldn't get I couldn't get this 
this rubbery white insert to fit and the other one was too small so I ended up having to shave this one save it shave it down so I'm gonna have to do a little bit and then push it down a little bit <sighs> Ooh. there we are that's better now we'll screw that back in there It's got a little lock nut there, you see. Do that up. Now then, let's see if it'll work better this time. It seems to be. Well, there it is, that's on. So, the next thing is, this comes with a plug on the end of the, of the lead, uh, the, yeah, the lead. So the word I'm looking for, lead. And I'm gonna plug it in. Uh, what do I need now? I need a bulb. So I'm gonna steal a bulb from that light over there. seems that the lampshade yeah. so the lampshade fits it's got a little kind of retaining ring there so that fits sort of snugly over that and that is going to screw the bulb inside there and hopefully hey, hey, hey we are in business there we have there we have get that out of the way of the picture there we have one lamp Shade, lamp, lamp base with complete with shade and everything ready to ready to be put up in a nice place. So there it is folks. I'll put it on its side there so you can see it. I encourage you have a go, get yourself one of these little kits. One of these guys six bucks you know I mean obviously I mean, I, if I'm do, if I'm making these to sell which I I am I, I, I would do you know uh, one's got to cost this into the into the finished product the fact that you know you're gonna have to spend nine plus six you know you're talking about spending fifteen dollars to get this to get it up and running but um, yeah What's about? Hey, Simon Leach saying, be illuminated. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Keep practicing. Bye bye now. Dee -dee -dee -dee.